So, that was all, uh, last video, that was all of the, the stuff that was specific to this board. Yeah. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna be showing off kind of alternating, uh, to show off general board, uh, events and things. Like the shops. Here's a shop. You go in and you get, uh, a random selection of items. Uh, you don't get a thing to view the item descriptions in this game for some reason. They just didn't put that in. Weird. But, uh, you, you come in and you can buy items, and there's different items. We'll see what all the items are a little later. Mm -hmm. Uh, the lottery shop. So, when you get to the lottery shop, the first time that you visit the lottery shop, you get a present. Yeah. A lucky party ticket. Yeah. So, you will hang on to it for a drawing that they'll have later. So... Hey. You know, uh, any subsequent times that you visit the lotto shop, you don't get another ticket. You just get the one the first time you try. Mm -hmm. uh, so, it's a, a lottery ball game. There are four possible ball colors. Gold, red, blue, and white. And it shows up in the upper left what the different prizes are. You rotate the stick to turn the, the lotto wheel, and then out pops a ball. And whoops, we lost. Oh. It's, it's a lotto. It's gambling. Oh. Wait. What does this have to do with the instruction? That's level? why I said that wasn't what it, it how it worked. Uh -huh. I don't under like I can almost understand what that means because there is another lotto game. There are two different lotto games. Uh -huh. uh, in addition to the um, lotto ball game, you might get a scratch ticket. Oh. So this might be what it was talking about because three of these tickets are winners. Ah. So if you pick you pick a ticket, you scratch it off, and it might just say try again and you lost, or it might show a number one, two, or three, and that gets you a prize. Uh, we'll take a closer look at the lottery prizes in a later video. Okay. Uh, the Boo House. So, as I said before, the Boo works exactly the same as it works in the previous Mario Party games. You can pay to steal coins, you can pay to steal stars, mm -hmm. or you can choose not to do anything. Uh, there, you always have the option to not choose yourself and let the game randomly pick who you're stealing from. But generally speaking, you want to pick who you're stealing from if you're actually trying to win the game. Uh, you get to tap A repeatedly to reduce the number of coins that Boo steals from you if somebody is sending Spork. Boo after you. Spork! What? That's just something he will exclaim to indicate that he didn't get as many coins as he wanted. Okay. So, when there are five turns left, there's the wildly fun, highly entertaining last five turn events! Okay. What's that? So, first, this is when the lucky party ticket drawing happens. Mm. So, everybody who got a ticket, which is only people who have visited the lottery shop, is eligible for this. There's a little roulette spinner wheel here with everybody's faces on it, the four players who are currently in the game. And the, to the the guide will randomly stop it on one of the faces, and if it matches the first face on your ticket, then you continue going, otherwise you're knocked out. Mm. So, it has to match all three of the faces on your ticket to, to be a winner. So that's a 1 in 64 chance? 64? Four four. Four. That's like the Nintendo... Wait, that was last generation. And then it shows the, the current standings, you know, show everyone what's going on. And the last five turns roulette event. Oh. And whoever is in last place gets to spin the roulette wheel for this. And you get a random effect for the last five turns. Uh, one of the random effects is the effect that has been in place for all the previous Mario Party games, doubling the effect of blue and red spaces. Oh. So, it was always that in the previous Mario Party games. Now there's a couple of different things it could be, and we'll see the others a bit later in future videos. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, that's, uh, when you get to the end of the game, you've done all of the turns, and you get your end of game check. Here's what the, the rankings are. Here's everyone's stars. And it's everyone's coins. I think Mario's winning. Yeah, I was I was playing on YouTube. <laughs> and then the bonus stars. Yeah, the stars. The bonus stars we said. Mating game stars, most coins in mating games. Which 
I generally get because I'm good at games. Oh. And also, again, I was playing this one on easy. Uh, I tried each of the difficulties with different characters, but uh, I started with easy because why not? Yeah, Coinstar had the most coins accumulated at any given time. And the Happening Star, which is just random. It's just random. It's based on your dice rolls. Who landed on Happening Spaces. It's... It's Mario Party. It's a Mario Party. <laughs> and it can be a tie. And then both uh, all tied players will earn the star. That can happen for all of the, the bonus stars. It's just less likely for coins because that's a, a more... Fluid. Yeah, it's it, it's a more discreet number. <gasps> yes. Yeah, of course. And yeah, it shows the winner and the rankings with I mean, little pedestals raising up. He's just a little guy. It's his birthday. And he's the party star. At least he's now not the, the it's not the superstar. It's not the superstar. Anymore. It's the party star. We're just having a party. It's He's the star of the I party. am so glad the stakes have been lowered. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get your detailed results screen at the end that you can look at. And you can push A to get the details of you know, how many coins you got from mini games, how many coins you had at any given time, how many of each type of space each player landed on. Hmm. So this is all the kind of things that you are very interested in. Usually. <laughs> For Mario Party, not so much. Mm. And you, you get an option to save. Uh, this game actually has autosave turned on by default at the end of every turn. Oh. That's an option that you can set, but... Uh, and that's that's been a thing that's been available in previous games, but it's never been a default setting cool. until now. So then, hey, we move on. So here's the present that Toad promised us. Hey. And here comes the present. Look at that. <gasps> that's very exciting. But to get it... What? You'll have to beat me out of any game! That's not... <laughs> okay! <laughs> this isn't how presents or prizes work! <laughs> so, uh... Here's Toad's little room. Now we must battle by Bowser Pop! What? Well, let's hear the rules for Bowser Pop. Okay. In this game, you must pop all the Bowsers that pop out. You say to pop with the hammer! Okay. Koopa Kids are worth one point, Bowser is two points. If you can get more points than I can in 60 seconds, then you're the winner! So it's it's whack-a-mole. It's competitive whack-a-mole. Yep. Uh, things will shake when they're about to pop out a thing, and then you can whack and hit them. Uh, with the uh, bits that pop out two targets at once. If you hit directly in the center of them, you get both targets with one swing. Neat. It runs for 60 seconds. Sometimes the the Bowser will pop up, but almost all of the targets will be the Koopa Kid. Koopa Kid, not Koopa's Kid. Correct. <laughs> we have for some reason, the television gets struck by lightning every time something pops out. Does that have an effect? No, that's just the animation for showing a thing popping out of the television. <laughs> the things can pop out of the, the china cabinet, a book, a dresser, uh, another drawer, a grandfather clock, a, a end table. And it's, it totals your scores at the, at the top. And Got three times as many. Yeah. Uh, the difficulty of the, these mini-games is also affected by the difficulty rating that you set the story to. Congratulations, Mario! Without further delay! And we finally get to actually open a present! Here's your present! It's not a present, it's work. And it explodes. <laughs> and we get a sofa! Toad has given Mario a sofa. So, you see that birthday. look on Mario's face? <laughs> That's the look of somebody who has to lug that thing into his room. <laughs> oh, it's, it's okay, though, because it gets floated up, and, after a significant load time, 
Uh-huh. It drops down here! Into this, uh, the little head Mario itself, into the present room. The present room? This is the room where you put your presents. So he doesn't even get to sit on it? Nope! 